Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming and we've got another Lego Harry Potter years five through seven video for you. And this one's called a not so Merry Christmas story. This happens to be level nine. And yes, we are gonna get a trophy achievement for completing the level called Weasley's Wizard Woes. And uh, we also are gonna shoot for that true wizard requirement of 60K and potentially grab a gold brick or two along the way. So here we are, we're right in the old hubba bubba here. We're following nearly headless Nick and oh, we got a little bit of a jump on him there. We win. Although we don't win very often, so oh, here we go. Cutscene. Hmm. 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 Huh? We didn't start the fire, it was always burning as the world was turned. Ha ha, we got Aquamenti we need to go ahead and put to use, and it looks like over in this far corner we've got this little statue that needs to be filled up. So we're going to go ahead and use the old Aquamenti to fill that, uh, I guess that's a pot up, and it dumps the water out on the fire and puts out the big flames, and we can go ahead and squirt down the other flames and call it good, which actually gives us access to this book stand here, and Hermione can go ahead and follow the pattern given and open the door here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Blech. Ooh, and look at that, it's a clam. What the heck do we want a clam for? I don't know, but we'll go ahead and pick it up, and look at that, we've got an arrow that's guiding us down to the bottom left side of the area. And ooh, look at that, we can go ahead and slam it on in there, and ooh, it bites down, and okay, this is a little bit weird. we got to fill up this container on the bottom, it's a little bit of a funny angle, but if you target kind of the front corner there, you should have no problem. Look at that, we've raised the roof, or actually we've raised the stairs, but uh, it's actually given us a way to get up top. Hey, what's up there, buddy, in the painting, trying to put out, look at that, he's got a hose, but no water, I wouldn't look down that, I, I have, I've actually done that before. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've looked down uh, an open hose and somebody's blasted me right in the face. So, uh, yeah, not not like quite like you're thinking, but uh, yes, uh, just sort of like that. <laughs> and look at that, we've got uh, ooh, we've got a little uh, treasure chest that's giving us some extra bricks that we can build up. And what do we got here? We've got something else that needs to be filled up with water. So we'll go ahead and spruce that up and oh look at that we've got a little watering tea kettle here and we'll go ahead and water the plant and wait for it oh look at that push some little days and watch them grow up oh look at that he dropped a little key for us and we'll pick that up and look at that shows us right where to take the key and we'll slam that right in there just like so and booyaka shao aquamenti is now unlocked and check it out we've actually only got one more little slot for a spell to be added and uh it's reducto i don't want to spoil anything for you but we need that reducto to bust up some silver stuff so we'll collect our gold brick and we'll then follow nearly headless nick back through hogwarts and see where he takes us i do believe he's gonna lead us into another cutscene, but where that cutscene will be we'll have to wait and see oh i tried to beat him but i went the wrong way should have taken a left back at albuquerque all right, let's see here. Nick, where are we going now? Okay, we got the big old doors opening up for us, and we're going on down and out. And, ooh, I know where we're going now. I remember. We're actually going to go uh, for a little journey. All right, we are on the outside of the grounds, getting ready to be officially outside of the Hogwarts wall, and here we are. In fact, I do believe this is considered part of Hogsmeade, but I could be wrong. I know the crossing is coming up, and I do believe we go a different route this time, actually. Nope. We go right to Hogsmeade. <laughs> That's right. Oh, there's the choo-choo. In fact, speaking of, we're actually going to hop on the real deal. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Harry grabbed the old one-way ticket to paradise. <laughs> Let's see where it takes us. Choo-choo. Hmm. Hmm. Ah.
Boy, I don't know what was going on there, but Ron sure didn't want El Harry to have any of those chocolate chip cookies. That's chalk blockage to the next level right there, if you're asking this guy. All right, we have followed Arthur, I believe it is, out to the old greenhouse here. And inside the greenhouse, we're actually tasked with finding three items. We have to find a hat and a shirt and, honey, where's my pants? That's right, we actually have to find a pair of pants. It looks like a little minifig leg, but, uh, all right, so the first one's gonna be found on the left by using Harry Potter and his wizarding wand. The second one's gonna require a little bit of help from Arthur, who has the blue wrench that can repair things. So you can see we built up a little uh, robot here, kind of looks something like a combination of, like, Wally and perhaps, I don't know, something else. However, there was also a vacuum that actually uh, cleaned up the mess on the table and left behind some bricks, which we actually built up into a sewing machine that gave us our much-needed pantalones. So we've got that all handled, so we've moved to the front left side, and we've used Aquamenti to go ahead and fill up, well, I guess it's the box there. Maybe it was the flower itself, but uh, we go ahead and, well, what do we need to do here? We got a toaster here. We're going to make some toast. The toastest with the mostest. No, actually, it turns out we need to whack this cage over, or not a cage. It's a closet on the right-hand side, and inside we're going to find a spider web and also the much-needed hat. So that should do it. So go ahead and roll out. Battle ensues. In fact, we've got a couple of new characters here. We've got Molly Weasley, we've got uh, Lupin, and gosh, I can never remember the old Pinky's name for some reason. We'll figure that out in a minute. But uh, we're going to start off by going over to the, I guess that's kind of the wood pile here. We're going to move some of these logs around with Leviosa, and then we're going to switch on over to Lupin and uh, pull up Animagus. I think that's how you say it. And he's going to turn into a werewolf, and we're going to get our dig on in this pile over here where those stinky bits are floating up. And, of course, it gives us a strong handle, which we actually need to switch to a character who isn't a werewolf to pick that up and place it on the old shed there. Now we have to switch back to the werewolf in order to rip that handle off. So, booyaka we rip that off, and inside, what do we got? We've got ourselves, oh, some of the specter specs. And look at that, we can actually follow it straight down and away from that, and we find... I don't know what that is, some sort of a water wheel that goes uh, on that over there. I guess it's a free play item. We're actually going to address that in just a second here. We don't complete it, but we at least check it out, I think. Uh, but we have actually taken some pieces and built them up onto this weird carriage-like thing. In fact, we actually need to complete this. We need another wheel. We need some other stuff. But first off, we're going to fill it up with water, with Aquamenti, and there we go. We're flipping on... Oh. Tonks, that's her name, that's right. So we're gonna flip onto the back of this, uh, I don't know, it's a giant water gun, I guess, and uh, we'll go ahead and put the fire out because we didn't stop the fire. And now it actually should give us access to this other side here. And okay, we've got this a tube that's not quite complete. And we've also got this tub out here. We're gonna use Leviosa to go ahead and build up the old shower here. And it rains down on the tub and puts out the fire around it and actually frees old Arthur for us, which we need his blue repair wrench here, which we'll get to in just a second. We need to pick this guy up right quick. Wrong guy though. And oh, we got some uh, Death Eaters attacking us too. And so, yeah, I thought this was the wheel for our little carriage that we're building up, but as it turns out, it's not. It's for something completely different, and we'll save that for free play, which, if you don't know, we actually are going to come back and do the free play for all of these, but of course, we got to finish the old story mode up first, so... Oh, to the yeah, we're going to go ahead and... I don't think we need Spectre Specs. I got a little sidetracked here. Maybe we do. Uh, no. Oh, there's a Poiple and a couple Bluesies, or at least one. We'll go ahead and grab that and make our way back over. And, oh, that's right, we need this wagon wheel up against the wall here. So I got a little confused, and I thought we needed to dig out the tube, which actually lifts that up and completes that. Uh, but that's going to be another free play item for us as well. But we do need to use Leviosa to go ahead and pick up that wagon wheel and place it on the back of our wagon. So... Uh, I promise I figured that out here shortly. I probably should have edited this out, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's only a minute or so. And oh, more Spectre Specs. Let's go ahead and see if we can see what they see. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, here we go. Last but not least, I finally figured it out, I promise. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I fixed that up top, and then we go ahead and grab that wagon wheel, which then gives us the arrow, indicating that we need to slap that on the back here. Slap a tola, and look at that. We have, uh, well, we need the wrench now. We'll go ahead and fix what's left. And let's see here. Oh, yep. Yeah, oh, yep, yep, yep. All right, we've got that built back up. We can go ahead and hop on it. Look at this weird contraption here. We can go ahead and fly over. What we really need to do is just put out the fire over by the basketball hoop. This is going to give us the ability to advance into the next area. There is a quick cutscene, but I got to be honest. If you blink, you could miss it. So I'm not going to stop to address it. I'm just going to keep on keeping on and go right on over the top of it. But uh, cue that cutscene right now. Woohoo! See, look, I mean, look at that. That wasn't worth cutting out for. So here we are. We're actually in the cornfield now, or maze, depending on ooh, what side of the planet you live on. It might be uh, referred to as a little something different. But we're going to switch to the old werewolf and get our dig on, which actually provides us some bouncing bricks. And look at that. Oh, we can make those into some scissors. Oh, watch out now. And look at this, this is kind of cool. I don't know that I really remember ever seeing anything quite like this in other LEGO games. The scissors chopping up, the, I think that's pretty cool. I, I wouldn't mind seeing more of that. When we get to the end here, we've got some of the old snares, I believe they're called. And uh, we use Loomis to go ahead and remove them, which actually reveals a strong handle. So switch on over to the old werewolf, and we'll go ahead and rip that handle off. And we're going to go ahead and make our way down the far right side over here. But, oh, whoops, that was pretty close. We almost ended up with a character token that we were not prepared to get yet. So there's more of those flying birds that leave behind little... Well, I guess I'll leave that for you. You can complete that rhyme all on your own. <laughs> All right, so we can see that there is a glowing bit out there that we need to address a box. And there's some sort of, what is it, apparition? I think that's how you call those spots. Uh, but we'll have to get to that a little bit later. We'll keep on keeping on down the path through the mage. And, uh, oh, we got a little dig spot. So we'll go ahead and switch on over to the werewolf and get our how on one more time. But this time we're going to put on some Spectre Specs and double back a little bit, which we actually find a little area that we can build up some stuff that we couldn't see without those trusty glasses. And uh, now, let's see, we've got a little... Uh, hmm, it's giving us some water here, and it's making some daisies grow. And, oh, look at that. We can actually use this spot now. It's Well, it didn't make them grow. It was a little bit of a uh, well that took the water out of the pond. That's right, a little sump pump. And, all right, well, I'll get this figured out one of these days. you got to use the old Loomis, but as it turns out, we need a key. And we do not have a key, so this was all irrelevant. So we'll go back to the other side and make our way down the pathway, which actually believably, I think, takes us to another cutscene, but it looks like it's one of those really short ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and hang out, and uh, we'll just keep on keeping on. What? Oh, there's another one of those birds. Hopefully it doesn't drop a... Oh. Run! Run! Uh oh look out, Harry! Watch out, Jenny! All right, we'll get this figured out. Uh-oh, that is not like this guy. This guy's a little creepy. All right, so it's the final battle! It's not really. It's. I mean, we're a long ways away from the final battle, but it does happen to be the final battle for this area, and it will complete this level for us once we get done. But we have to take out old Bellatrix Lestrange. Now, I know an earlier video I referred to her as Bellatrix Matrix. I'm not even sure where that came from. Like, I honestly... Never in ever have I ever believed her name to be that. It just kind of came out. I must have been looking at something else. But all right, it is the rule of three, and we have to use this in a couple of different ways. In fact, we have three hearts that we need to take out, so uh, we have to repeat this process three times. And the process is she sends a couple of bad guys after us. We take them out, and then she throws three items at us. The third item we can actually grab with Leviosa and send it right back Flying at her and Buyuka Shao. One heart down, two to go, but she sends some more Death Eaters after us. So we'll go ahead and get our pew pew on with our wizard wands. And it is kind of a little bit of a cluster out here. We got way too many people out on this little island. Uh, we can see. And it is one of those situations where you might have to switch characters if Buddy comes and runs and grabs you. I can't think of his name right now, but if he gets a hold of you, you have to switch characters and then come ha go ahead and knock him off uh, by running up to him and giving him the old pow right in the kisser. All right, so she has 
fired a bunch of stuff at us, and here she goes. She's going to turf a bunch of items, three to be exact. They seem to be the same three items, maybe, over and over again. I don't know. And if you miss it, she's just going to actually repeat that process until you grab it and toss it back at her. So uh, dodge the first two, and then be ready to catch the third one. All right. Go ahead and spin to win, and booyaka shall. That did not look like it felt very good, if I'm being honest. But all right, some more Death Eaters, and then what's his name's gonna charge us again? We'll go ahead and smack him around and relieve our friends from his grapple. And of course, we got more Death Eaters until she finally starts tossing some more items at us. And we will return fire with the third one, and that'll actually take us into the final cutscene, which is also quite short, but it is the final one, and we will see you at the totals afterwards. So. One last Death Eater, one last item to toss. Oh no, there's a couple more Death Eaters. And oh, look out, look out! It's like uh, running with the bulls kind of almost, huh? All right, here it goes. Pow, right in the kissa. And last but not least, we got a zapper, and all right. Boy, Ron sure hasn't given up on those Choco cookies yet, has he? But look at that. Booyaka Shao! Weasley's Wizard Woes is now ours for completing the level. We only got 59% of the old true wizard requirement, but uh, we'll come back and get those in our free play once we got the old red brick stud multipliers on. So we'll collect our gold brick for beating the level, and we'll go ahead and we'll keep on keeping on. You know what this next screen means. Oh, there it is. Whew. Came a little slow there. That's going to wrap it up for Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7 level 9 story. And this just so happens to be a not so merry Christmas. Well, at least it wasn't for them. Hopefully it will be for all of us as the holidays are just around the corner. So, all right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed all of these so far. And I know you guys are all looking forward to the old free play. So we're going to try to get to that as quickly as possible. If you guys have any questions or comments, or maybe you just want to get involved with other Happy Thumbs gamers, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have happythumbsgaming.com. And of course, we do have a patreon.com account as well as Twitch, G+, and a whole bunch of other things. You can find links to all of our social pages and more, including playlists, lists, trophy achievement guides, all sorts of stuff in our video description. So we highly recommend you click that see more option in the description and you check out all the fun stuff that we've left behind for you. In fact, if you're looking at the free play stuff too, we also have click links to all the items. So uh, you might find those useful if you're looking for a specific item like a mini kit or maybe like a student in peril or something. So oh to the yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. As always, until next time. Hey, come on. I said I was going to wrap it up till next time. What are you waiting for? Oh. Really? All right. Well, here you go. See ya.